Let's get straight into it. What is this technique? This simple, easy, powerful technique is simply witnessing whatever comes up, being the witness, instead of being in the midst of experience, which is we're going to zoom out and we are going to witness. Let's try it right now. Whatever comes up, right, thoughts, emotions, sounds, just watch. Powerful because it allows us to become aware of every aspect of our mind. It allows what wants to come up to come up in regards to emotion. It allows us to learn about our mind. So, uh, I mean. This means that if you are ever driving and something happens where you usually get annoyed, I mean, you, the next time that happens, you'll know about yourself so much that you'll say, oh, you know, yeah, I'm, just, I'm just me, you know, get annoyed or whatever, right? And it just, I think, you know, in the midst of it, you don't have to stay in it for long. This is powerful because it teaches us acceptance. Acceptance of however life appears to be right now, in the present moment, right? Including everything to do with ourselves. Literally, literally everything to do with ourselves. I mean, if you sat there for an hour, okay, and you're given the task to allow everything to be as it is, what do you think is going to happen? Well, 
you'll see when your thoughts come up. Thoughts come up and it says, I don't like you for this. Like sometimes for some people and everybody's got it. Really, I guess. Um, some people it will come up and say the thoughts will say, I don't like you for this. Or something like that. That's some bullshit, right? Like when you see that. And you'll sat there as yourself peacefully. Then I don't think it'll hold much water with it. The, I mean, doing this just brings the truth. It brings it sorts the wheat from the chaff. So you know, patience. Sort of acceptance of the moment as it is. It's so powerful because you're going to hear the sounds. You're going to hear all sorts of things that would disturb you. You know, disturbing things like I don't know, knock at the door. No, <laughs> not knock at the door. Out of the door. If, <laughs> but um, you know, maybe a car driving past. Maybe some people out of the window and where you live. But um, when you're given the task and you're taking it seriously of being a witness to all the experience, then there's a distance between you and experience. You are which is aware. You are what is aware. And you remain as that. Now listen to this. Whatever is aware of suffering, can that suffer? Can what is aware of suffering suffer? So stay as that and be as that and do from that. And we live in a great world. That guy. That guy did a lot from the stories say from a place of peace. And by the way, that's Jesus. You can buy this uh informationparadise.com forward slash store. So, yeah, because meditation daily practice. If you want the link to join the 6 a.m. daily meditations for up to an hour, then ask me for it in the comments below. So let me get out another insight. Another insight is that the acceptance of the present moment as it is, is practice of just being the witness, allowing everything to be. Um, yeah, the little insight is since childhood, most of us have learned to repress or ignore, say no to bad emotions, to negative emotions. Emotions that make us feel bad. And, and most of us sort of learn it's bad to feel that way, and we shouldn't feel like that, all that stuff, right? Now, what happens is, is it just gets repressed and it comes out in all sorts of unconscious ways. So, like our mood throughout the day might be like seemingly permanently down, right, low. My point is, is that these meditations for at least 20 minutes, right, every day, 
It has to be every day. Um, if you want to feel any effects, if you want a real serious effects, these meditations are a space. They are a space to allow these motions to come up, right? Um, and just to observe them, feel them, feel them consciously. If you're into the sort of inner child psychology thing, if you believe that there's like an inner child, then uh, it's allowing the inner child to be heard. Right? For some people that's psychobabble. But yeah. And allowing the inner child to be heard. Um, in other words, just allowing yourself to feel the emotions that you want to feel or the it needs to be felt, I don't know. You fucking work it out. All right. So yeah, I'm gonna pop off now. Unless there's any other insights that I can share in this video. Mm. Let's give it two minutes. Or 20 seconds. The witness is that which is aware of our personality as well. The witness is aware of our ego, our feeling, every bit of experience. Okay. So, I mean, it's just so important to do daily meditation. All right, I hope I've gotten that across. Simple exercise is simply to witness, be the witness. But David, what happens when uh, I'm disturbed by my chaotic mind? Well, I'll tell you. I'll tell you this. Be aware of it. Dude. Be aware of chaotic mind. So let's actually do it right now. Okay. So, you know, let's say there's emotions and thoughts taking my attention away. I'm just getting drawn in, you know, like that. Well, be aware, like witness the phenomenon of being drawn in With this technique, it's impossible not to feel peaceful if you're doing it correctly. It truly is not possible to not feel peaceful. How could it be done incorrectly? Well, I suppose if one just believes that they are being witnessed, I think it's pretty difficult to get it wrong, to get it incorrectly done. All right, signing off, and uh, do subscribe to this channel. If you love personal development, holistic health, and spirituality, and clothes. Oh yeah. Every link in the description. Check out my music as well. Peace out.